Yeah, there's a bunch on visit, but then the thing that you can go home and do right now is you can go to Opus. And Opus is a video tool. And we showed you this a couple of weeks ago. You can go to Opus and you get this score that's the, the likelihood that it'll go viral. And you can simply apply it to any video that you upload on YouTube. I don't know where my window just went. Um, <laughs> because I took one of the biz hack videos and, um, okay, I'm going to have to, oh, I can't see my screen. Um, but I took one of the biz hack videos and I put it in here. I just used the YouTube link, but it's in another window that I don't know where it went. Um, <laughs> and you can take your video, you can take raw video that's not, that's un unedited and you can upload it here. It applies the subtitles to it and it tells you what you need to do. This one could benefit from a call to action, it says. You can also edit some of the copy in here and it gives you the score. And so this is predictive analytics in a really basic and simple, everybody can use it kind of way. So if you go to Opus, um, Opus Pro AI, you can find it, but it's um, opus.pro, I believe. Um, and this is one that you can simply play with on your own. So uh, that is, I'll just leave it there. I have a lot more I can share and uh, we can do another session on that. <laughs> well, 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 the good news is we're going to get to that shortly about ways you can get more of Nicole's greatness. Um, Jeff, uh, I know you had mentioned uh, a very accessible example of data with ChatGPT, as well as how a lot of these tools are being built into Google Ads as well. Sure. Well, I'll, I'll keep this brief. I just thought this was fun. We talked a few lectures ago about emergent properties and language models. And I think mainly everybody on this call has spent some time with GPT. So I did just want to, to give a nod to that tool, which is really a large language model, but actually has emerged in its training to be able to do some basic predictive analytics. I'll give you this very simple example. You can go try it with some of your data. I just created a spreadsheet here of a fake business's cash flow by month. And essentially it's a very volatile, volatile graph. And I went to our good old friend chat GPT using GPT-4 and actually just copied in the data from my diagram and asked it to predict the next values and just told it this is my cash flow. Chat GPT then gave me a little bit of a lecture on how this is very hard and technically complex and you need to hire a data scientist. But then it also analyzed my data and said that it was varying pretty wildly month to month. And so it was suggesting that the best, best form of forecasting we should do is a very basic approach called naive forecasting, where it essentially just uses the seasonality of year over year data to predict the output. It then predicted the next values of my cash flow statement and again warned me that I should probably look a little deeper into data instead of just feeding this into a model. But what was interesting is I, if I paste that back here, it actually does a fairly good job of mirroring some of the similar ups and downs of this cash flow statement with some predictions in it. So so I would I would asterisk this with with a language model is not the a purpose design tool for doing this type of things, but if you want to go kick the tires and play around with GPT in a in a use case that you might not be aware of, go maybe pay some of your data and put that privacy at privacy setting on and see what kind of outputs it'll give you because it can it can instruct you really well on the types of analysis you can do and also do some of those very rudimentary projections as well. Uh, thank you for that. And then did you want to just quickly address Google Ads and the predictive features of Google Ads? Yeah. So so like you were mentioning before, I won't share this with you explicitly because I don't have it pulled up, but many of these tools from advertisers are starting to put in machine learning language models and prediction tools. And so if you're familiar with investing in paid search through Google Advertising, Google has also rolled out a feature where it will live score your ad copy as you're creating it and give you suggestions on words to use and give you suggestions on adding more headlines or changing your descriptions based on some of those similar analyses of what they've seen work for click-through rate. So I would just keep your eyes open and many of the tools that you are already using, you're probably going to see more of this stuff pop up.